Hey guys, welcome back to another quick tip tutorial. This time it's more a short one because I just want to show you a technique how you could snap objects on a spline for some nice motion graphic positions or something where you could place objects along a spline like a text for instance or you create a helix where you can um, snap your objects to it which is really easy and simple to use and I show you now how to do that. So first of all I want to create a nice helix which is like a spring coil or something like that. For that I will create um, a helix object from Maya. I'll just create it with the standard par parameters, increase the radius. Alright. something like this and then I take an edge and double click it to get a nice edge loop for that it should yeah you can see it's going nice around the whole helix and then go I go into modify convert and then you'll find polygon to edges and then I have a nice curve created now for instance if you want to change your look of the helix you could easily just change the height and this uh, the coil string would go with. So it's still nice to edit afterwards. But now if you want to create a different design for it, which I like to do, I select the lowest vertices and press B for soft selection tool and then with holding B and scrubbing you could increase the selection size. And now I want to scale that so it's, it gets narrower at the bottom. But first of all I have to go into the top view and position my pivot to the center or more or less. And then scale again. So now it looks more like a tornado or something like that. And then I clear my history for that object. I can delete the helix. Now if I want to place objects around the line you would you could do it by creating an object and by holding C or choosing the snap to curve option on top of here you could snap it to the curve but you have to you would have to do it manually for several objects so I show you a quick way how to do that and even with a nice scaling option so um but by snapping it to the bottom by pressing C and middle mouse it's nicely at the bottom I can scale that downwards or something like this freeze my transformations on that and now I go into duplicate special options and in here let's say I duplicate it by 100 times and I want to increase the size by 0.5 and duplicate. Okay, that was probably way too big, so I'll just do that again by zero five. Okay, this looks better now. Yeah. And now I select all my cubes and then I select the curve and then I go into the modify menu and then snap align objects. And in that menu you find position along curve. And then you can just you just press that and it's positioning them nicely around your helix as you can see. And if I now hide the nerves curves, you can see it has a nice even distribution of objects. The same goes if you have a path or let, let's say a text or an illustrator file. I just quickly create a text. Let's say H just in simple letter. I show notes curves, scale that up. 
and then I have my curve in here. It's probably the same thing you would think, but you have to be sure that your vertices on the on the curves are distributed evenly. As you can see, they don't have the same distance, so the objects won't get spaced accordingly. So you have to would would have to go into the uh, rebuild curve tool. So you select your edge, go into edit curves, and rebuild curve tool. For that, I reset and place them or put them to the linear. And let's say I want to have 50 spans. Okay, it's probably too too less because it's now distorted, as you can see that. Let's say 250. Still a bit distorted, but it, it should work for this purpose. So it, you would go for that now. It's the same procedure. You'd Create, let's say I create a, a sphere for that, just reduce the poly count, place it here, and then I scale that down, and go into my duplicate settings, just reset it to one, and let's say I make a hundred spheres, plus that one, I select the curve and position a long curve and there you have it. It's pretty simple and if you want to create letters of, of objects or you want to create some interesting figures you can go ahead by just snapping it to your curve. So thank you for watching and until the next tutorial.